So, wir sind auf der Buchmesse Frankfurt 2009. Hier ist ebookreaderforum.de und wir sind bei dem Bookie-Stand, äh, wo wir hier in schwarz das ältere Modell sehen vom Cyborg und in weiß das brandneue Opus-Modell. Äh, es sieht kleiner, leichter, hübscher aus. Äh, und äh, wir müssen das Interview hier äh, mit einem der Product Manager auf Englisch führen. Ist aber kein Problem, wir werden das später äh, in ein paar Zeilen dann nochmal näher erläutern. So, um, we have here the old uh, model in black and the new model in white, the Opus. Yeah. Um, what are the main differences between the two, between the old model and the new model? What, what is the improvement? I think so, there are improvements which are clear. We'll talk about that later in terms of specification. But the first, improve, the first differences are that the white model is much compact than the black model. And it's, it was really something that we wanted to do here. It was to have something which, which can fit in a pocket or which can fit mainly in the purse of a woman. Uh, the other thing which, that we really wanted to do with this new device was to bring something which a uh, which, uh, much, much cooler design, let's say, much funky or much sexy design. And this is what we did with the, with the, with the Opus, which is really appreciated by uh, by everyone who see it and, and find it very different than what currently exists on the market. So these are the main differences. The screen is a bit uh, smaller on the on the Cybercopus. It's five inch instead of six inch. But the main advantage is that you gain a lot in terms of DPI resolution. You have 200 DPI on the Cybercopus against 170 DPI, which is the current DPI you find everywhere. 200 DPI is very close to uh, to paper uh, paper resolution. So then, no, let's go. Uh, I will just make the first uh, big advantages that you find on the on the booking products is the is the weight. So you can't see it on video, but uh, you can say maybe uh, see the 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 thickness of the device, which is very thin. The booking the Cybook Generation 3 was 175 grams, and uh, the Cybook Opus is only 150 grams, which is barely the the weight of a famous uh, smartphone uh, from. Uh, from a, 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 a company, an American company. So <laughs> okay, we all uh, know what it means. <laughs> we know what it means. Uh, so it's only 150 grams. It's also a, a bit uh, a bit thicker than the Cybook Generation 3, but it, it's the price to uh, to pay to have something much more compact. Um, so the surprise has been uh, has been discovered, but. Now, what are the differences in terms of uh, technology? Both of them are using e-paper. I won't explain to your forum, uh, to your blogs, reader, what, 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 what is e-paper, but everybody knows that it's the power consumption is very low, and in both cases, we have a very, very long battery life of three weeks or 8,000 uh, pages that you can turn with one okay. battery refill only. This is very good, yeah. Um, the other difference in, form of, in, uh, in terms of technical point of view is that the Cybook Opus uh, has one gigabyte of internal memory, which represents 1,000 books, which is a, a huge uh, number of books. On the Cybook Generation 3, Ger Generation 3, we had only 512 megabytes, which is 500 books. Can you add external memory to the Opus? Yes. So there is a tiny difference between the two products. On the Cybook Generation 3, you have here a SD slot where you can add um, four gigabytes until four gigabytes SD card. And on Cybook Opus over there, you have a micro, S a micro SD card which is very common and that you yeah. find and most of the time which are cheaper and yeah. you can go also to 4 gigabytes. These are the same micro SD cards like for example Nokia uses for its mobile phones? Exactly, but, yes. Okay. We don't support SDHC which are yeah. very high capacity uh, micro, SD, micro SD card but just to give you an idea if you had a 4 gigabytes you yeah. reach 5000 books okay. for the world memory which is a lot of books. Yeah, first to buy them all. Yeah. <laughs> So now, how does these two devices working? These two devices are working with a USB connection, no wireless. This okay. is clearly your choice. We, we think that the way the people are buying books or downloading books is mainly done from a computer point of view. So they are on the computer, you use your computer as a downloading station. You choose the books that you want to download, either free books that you can find on the internet, like Google Books, where there are one, more than one million books available for free, or you can buy 
German books, of yeah. course, or French or English books, but if we talk about German, you can go on Libri.de or Libreka. And these two sites are working with Adobe DRM, Adobe EPUB format, and we are both of them are compatible with the with the two uh, with the two devices. Just to give a little yeah, explanation. Yeah. The Seabook Generation 3 right now is not EPUB compatible, but it will yeah. be in the next few weeks. Okay. But the uh, Seabook Opus is natively, e is natively EPUB compatible. So when you buy your books, you just need to download a small application from Adobe on your PC or your Mac, and then you will be able to buy books from Libri or Libreka and then put them on your device. Uh, the device is working by default as a USB key, yeah. so if you plug it to your Mac or PC, you don't need to install no software for free books to download or even your own documents. We currently read HTML and text files yeah. and also a new format which is a Russian format, but you are, you are forum readers will know about it, it's called yeah. FP2. So we read FP2, HTML, text and EPUB uh, and PDF of course on these devices. So. The next main difference between the two uh, devices, this one has sound, this one has not. We really wanted to focus on reading. And okay. the other thing, which we, we, had a, we had an issue with the small screen. It gives great advantages in terms of portability, undability, it's very undable, very handy, I mean. But if I bring a PDF on it, it becomes quite difficult to read. Okay. So what we did is that we add an accelerometer to switch directly to uh, oh, this is cool. landscape, landscape mode. So yeah. if you take a PDF file, you just need to turn your device and then it will zoom inside the, 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 the book. It's the, it's the more efficient way to read a PDF. So even with a small screen, you can read PDF. You see it's very smooth and yeah. very... Uh, yeah. Uh, and you can also enlarge the font uh, if, if you say like I need uh, bigger letters, you can do it easily. Yes. Okay. So the two uh, firmware that are inside are very close. I will okay. show you the latest, firm latest firmware which is present currently in the Cyber Corpus. Let's yeah. go and uh, make a little trial. So first of all, as you can see, we have a very very fast screen. We yeah. can sh we can switch very fast the screen and choose the books that we want very fast. So let's let's uh, choose this book. I just press, and the book you see here, the lead, and the book is open is opening very fast. Okay, this is really fast. As you can see here, the the, the image is very crisp, yeah, and it's only black and white. Let's move. Let's turn the page. So if you think it's too long, you just need to press these two buttons here are, are especially made to press the pages and to be held with one hand. Ah, so let's let's turn a page. And if you want to go faster, you just keep your your finger pressed, and you go very very fast. Fast forward. Once okay. once you you need to stop, you just release the button, it stops immediately. So now let's go into the features you can have in EPUB and PDF. EPUB, you can go to directly some parts of your books. Like let's go to the second chapter or second part. Yeah. And you can do it just by pressing the button. It jumps directly to the to the second chapter. It takes some time. I hope it's, it will open. <coughs> Is it a big book? I hope. Okay. There we are. Yes. So it, it was a, a big book. So now you can uh, you can do other things. You can change the font size. And as you can see, we have 12 sizes. Okay. This which is, is very comfortable. Yeah, this yes. is very, very comfortable. And one time again, you choose a large font. Yeah. So I think it would take some time, some time again. The chapter seems to be very big. So uh, one big advantage here is that we will be able to, uh, thanks to, um, it's very long, sorry. The, the, the advantage is that you can, one time again, you can switch and have the text in uh, landscape mode, so the, the lines will be uh, larger. So I'm sorry, yeah, break, this yeah. book is is very slow. Uh, I will sw I'll sw I'll switch to another book, but this one is it's quite slow. <laughs> we picked the biggest book you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, uh, does it have like a search functionality? Can no, search we, we don't have, not in this firmware, we don't have search function. We have, um, we have a, uh, um, 
we have uh, right now we have uh, you can go wherever you want when you quit a book and you go back to the book you will find exactly at the same place so you don't lose okay. uh, you don't lose the way, where you are but we are adding more uh, more functions at every firmware currently so on the last firmware we don't have we did not have fp2 now we yeah. have fp2 format so that means your strategy is uh, once you buy the opus uh, there will be improved features over the time <coughs> yes. by just uh, um, uploading a new firmware exactly yes this so, is very good to know. So.